So here's the big question. What solar system works best for you? There are three basic types of solar systems. Grid tide, grid interactive, and you have a off-grid system. Let us start with the grid tie. Is a grid tie system right for you? This system works best for operations where 90% of electricity is used during the daytime. You will be required to maintain a good relationship with JPS. You will have to trust your power company and the meter that they install. You trust that they are that the meter is working properly, is capturing all the electricity that you are sending to them as well as capturing the electricity correctly that they are sending to you. You will also have to trust that they are going to be you know, paying you accordingly. For grid tie systems to work, you are required to set up net billing with your power company. So in our case, JPS in Jamaica. This comes with an upfront fee of, of over $150,000 the last time I checked. There is no battery backup. So if there's a power outage for any reason, you know, you will suffer that power outage. In order for you to be in a position where you're selling power to the grid, um, to even break even benefit with a grid tie system, you have to sell three times the amount of power to the power company than what you use from them. So you have to prepare to definitely generate three times the amount of power that you really that you really need. The generation of that amount of power would require for you to install a lot more solar panels and inverters. So it's going to cost you a lot more than what you visualize, than what you really um, had, most likely had in, um, in mind. So for example, if you use a um, thousand kilowatt hours, and you think you're going to get a, gen um, a grid tie system that generates a thousand kilowatt hours per month? That's not what. That's going to leave you with a a, a decent sized JPS bill. As you know, a back battery backup. You are going to end up sucking power from JPS all through the night and and every time it rains and and so forth. Every time there's a cloudy day and so forth and so on. So in order for this to truly work for you, you would have to install a system that could probably generate up to. 3,000 kilowatt hours per month, which is then going to cost you up to three times the amount of money. So the notion that a grid tie system is a um, is a cheap option is is only is only true if you're just looking to make a small savings. In my opinion, for for a grid tie system to make sense for you, maybe you're just trying to save 20, 30 percent of your JPS bill, maybe 50 percent. Of your JPS bill. Other than that, it, it, it just not it's just not going to work out for you. One of the more um, common notions is that we're going to get a grid tie system and we're going to be selling power to JPS. So I hope with this information you understand what it really takes to even break even with JPS. One of the biggest factors that put most of us in a position where we are not able to sell to JPS is that we just don't have enough roof space. If your roof is not big enough to hold like a lot of panels, if you're not running a big warehouse, you're just not going to have enough roof space to hold so much panels to be to be generating three times the amount of power that you really need. So it's just not going to work. It's good to keep all of this in mind. It, it sounds good in theory, but in practice, it really is a lot to keep in mind. All right, let's talk about the grid interactive system now. Is a grid interactive system right for you? It, 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 it works similar. A grid interactive system can, can work similar to a grid tie system. And it can work like a, an off-grid system. And it depends on how you want to set it up. So it's, 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 quite, it's quite versatile. So if you want to set up a grid interactive system to work like a grid tie, why it is better than a grid tie is because it allows you to, to add batteries and have a battery backup, which is a huge advantage over a grid tie system. So I do recommend a grid interactive system over a grid tie system for most people. If you're thinking of running your grid interactive system like an off-grid system, which it can run like an off-grid system, I do not recommend that because it's going to cost you a lot more. A grid interactive um, inverter will cost you an additional $300,000 
to $1.5 million. Depends on the amount of power that you need. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for like about 6 kilowatt of a 6 kilowatt inverter, 6 to 8 kilowatt, it's going to probably cost you about an additional 2,500 2, US uh, to go with the grid interactive over off grid. So basically, you, you'll be spending another 2,500 US dollars and really get nothing for it. So, is the off grid system right for you? Well, if you're the type of person, you're, you know, you are a conscious user of electricity, then you, the off grid system will work very well for you because you will be con conscious of the electricity that your, your system is, can produce you based on the weather and uh, weather patterns and so forth. One of the main advantages is you're not connected to the grid, so you don't have to deal with the fluctuations of the grid. You know, the low voltage, the, you know, the power outages, you don't have to deal with all that. Um, you have a more predictable source of electricity. You will know when you are going to have electricity. If there's a lot of sunshine outside, you know that you're going to have only for electricity. If it's kind of cloudy, you know you'll have less electricity. So you'll be, you, you just, all you have to basically do is just watch the weather and you'll know how much electricity you will have available. Obviously the main benefits of our off-grid system is 80% and 80% to 90% savings on electricity compared to what you would pay to the power company here in Jamaica. You are not going to need a generator because we set up off-grid systems in such a way where we use the power company as our generator, so as our backup. So you won't need to have a generator. So that's one good reason to use an off-grid system. You have a, a good sized battery bank and that will carry you through most of the time. The few times that your battery bank is depleted because of um, inclement weather, you just use JPS as your backup. The number one reason why an off-grid system is best for most people is that it is hands down the best value for money. Every dollar you spend on an off-grid system, you're going to get more returns on that dollar. Because an off-grid system is going to be designed specifically for your needs. You'll have the right amount of batteries to carry you through. You'll have the right amount of panels, which your roof will most likely have enough space to accommodate. So you don't, and you, the inverter is cheaper. An off-grid inverter is way less expensive than the other inverters, than the grid interactive and the the good tire inverter all right so i have about 15 well more than 15 years of experience with solar systems i've installed i have had good interactive systems running i've had off grid systems running and i have had grid tire systems running and i've ended up replacing my grid interactive systems and my grid tire systems with all off grid systems because it just works out over over time over two three four years it works out better value for money and I, I am about saving money as well as clean energy i'm not about wasting my money so i've switched out all of them to to off grid so another reason why i think off grid is better is because i prefer to use a battery to supply my power to, to store power and to supply my power um whenever the sun is, is down, than to use the grid power because the grid power is dirty energy. The grid power is mostly powered by fossil fuels here in, in Jamaica and I choose to avoid that. Another reason is that um, it's, just, it's just better value for money. It's better to just buy some batteries than keep on paying the power company every month. I find that the grid, the, the off-grid system, I I don't have no payments to make. I just my my bill is zero. And my bill is probably a thousand dollars. I have over fifteen locations running off grid, personally, and um, both business places and um, homes. So I I, I I do recommend off grid for most everybody. The average consumer, I recommend off grid to you. A grid interactive. If you're a little bit cashy and you want to spend that extra money, then I could recommend a grid interactive system to you. But it would be hard for me to recommend. A good tie system to you. All right, friends. So I hope I simplified this, the differences between the three type of systems for you, and I hope you can. It will make it easier for you to choose your next solar system. So until next time, goodbye.